Dude, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Look at that, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna be giving away a $25 Bass Pro Shops gift card. If you guys wanna enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, hit the notification bell, and smash that freaking like button. Drop some video ideas down below, and also go subscribe to Fletcher's channel down below in the description. He's also gonna be giving away his first ever Lego lure that he made, and we're actually both gonna sign this out to send out to one lucky winner. On this beautiful day, we're gonna be trying to make Lego fishing lures in an attempt to catch some giant bass. This is the one though, man. Look at all these pieces on here. This has just got pieces for day. We got eyeballs back here. <laughs> oh, dude, this is Oh, the eyeballs, the eyeballs would be legit on the lures. Oh, the... Man, this is gonna be perfect. So I mean... this is just like a basic Lego classic box. Got a bunch of different colors. I love how they have the greens in there, you know, just for some natural color. You know what I mean? We gotta, we gotta add some up and then they got you know, some of the whites and other colors in the eyes. The eyes are legit, Eyes are dude. key, man. Eyes are definitely key. Now we just need to go get some super glue to put all this stuff together. Keep it nice and tight so it doesn't come apart when you toss it out in the water. Should be some good stuff. Exactly what we needed. We got it. So guys, we got all the Legos on the table now. And there's a few different things that sparked our attention when we first dumped these on the table. So right here, we have like this little submarine cap that we could end up using. We could probably make something creative out of that. We got a bunch of like little eyeballs that are gonna be perfect. Add a little bit of that realistic feel to the Lego lures. There's also like a little boat propeller. I don't know what we're gonna use that for, but maybe we make some type of boat lure. And then we also have some like little teeth, a little, little bit of teeth action. Maybe like a little shark lure would be awesome. Not only do we have all these cool pieces, but just a big wide variety of colors. You know, we got some natural colors in here. We also have the greens, almost like the old kicking green baby, Big Bass Energy, check it out down below. And a bunch of neat colors that are gonna make these lures come to life. And before we get started building these Lego lures, I wanted to go ahead and show y'all one I had made in the past, and it is this little guy right here. I made this guy, I think, two summers ago, and I think one of the keys for today is trying to get these baits weighted, because as y'all know, Legos are made of plastic, and these guys float. Today, it's winter, so we really need to get these baits down. So we're gonna either try to find a way to like internally weight these uh, with some weights or some other strategies. We've been trying to like try to think of some ways to do that. So hopefully we can have some luck making something just like this today. And let's go ahead and get to it. This is almost like a, like a bill. <laughs> Fletcher, what in the world are you doing, brother? What, 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 what? I, I've got to take this Band-Aid here because... Safety first, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't want to step on a leg, I guess. But, um, <laughs> but uh, I'm taking this Band-Aid, and the reason I'm using a Band-Aid and putting it on my camera right here is because this lens actually is heavy and it'll like twist out to like super zoom in on this, and the shot we're trying to get uh, we needed to be zoomed out, so this is the links we go through, guys, to get these awesome B-roll shots for y'all. But now this thing is locked in and ready to roll. All right, that is our first little go around. Wait till you guys see what we just came up with. You guys are gonna think we're crazy for this, but honestly, it could possibly work. If it doesn't work, we'll make another video of us making it work. But let me flip it around the Fletcher and let me show you what we made. So this is what we're thinking. We have a- <laughs> It's a pelican crankbait. It's a pelican crankbait. We got this nice long deep diving pelican bill right here. And just to give y'all a better like idea of what this is gonna look like, let's throw some hooks on there. And I don't, let me <laughs> give my best attempt at this. But something like that, once we actually glue this thing up and run some braid through to tie these hooks off, this thing, I, I mean, I really hope this thing actually dies. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice, like, flat-sided, deep crank if this thing actually has any chance of working, but it has a pretty nice angle on it, and it's got a nice, like, it's, and it's kind of cupped, so it'll definitely grab water. It's just a matter if this thing actually just stays down or if it just starts flipping over and spinning. So we're definitely gonna 
glue and tie this thing together and see what it does. But this is our first go at our Lego lures today. Stay tuned for some more. So we got super creative on this last lure. You guys are gonna be mind blown. Look at this right here. It is actually a shark swim bait. We used a bunch of the blues, the whites, the blacks, and it all came together. Not only did we use those colors to make this shark swim bait, but if you look at the mouth, you can tell we added some teeth with some pink as well for the gums and those big eyes on the side. This thing is just sweet. So uh, I got a few swim baits right next to us that we can kind of compare to. Um, this is actually a very worn down, uh, thanks to Fletcher, <laughs> I'm right here. Um, it's a little dirty, but it's gonna give you a visual on actually how big that this bait is. Let's lay them out with my hands right here. Look at that. Look at that right there. It is almost the size of a Huddleston. This is this is so crazy. We got another little bluegill joining the swim bait right here. Look at that. Just about the same size. I, I'm praying that this thing just works because just the creativity with this lure, I, by far, you know, yeah, the crankbait was cool, um, but just putting it next to the shark swim bait, I just, I think this is the winner. But you guys let us know. Comment below which one is your favorite out of these two. And to put it all together, we got braid, super glue, and hooks. Now it's time to make our crazy Lego creations into actual lures. We ran out of daylight to go fish them, so we're gonna fish them tomorrow. But we did have just a split second to go out and see if they would actually work, mainly trying the crankbait. And it would act, it would swim a little bit. It would go underwater maybe a foot or two. And as soon as you picked up the speed at all, it would just kind of flop on its side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a flat piece right here. We're gonna reshape it to look more like a typical bill, and we're gonna glue that sucker on there. But Noah has zero clue that I'm about to do this. We're gonna go into my workshop, make a whole little cool segment building this. So we're gonna surprise him in the morning. I also want y'all to surprise Noah by giving him a like right now. The boy has been cooking up some heat. So follow me, we're going to the workshop. We're gonna make this lure a little extra special, and we're gonna catch Noah in the morning and see his reaction. Dude, what did you do to it? Did you car you carved a freaking bill? When'd you do this? I put some work in, a little overtime. Are you like you actually you this, did this last night? This thing's gonna swim, I'm telling you. Bro, come <laughs> on, there is no way. Yo, you boys better go subscribe to my boy Flet. Yo, give me some, Flet. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. Dude, seriously, this is that's gonna legit. work. Do you think it's gonna work though? For sure, absolutely. I'm excited. We we gotta go test this out. I'm, no more talking. We testing it out, baby. Now it is time to put the shark swim bait to work. We're gonna be actually throwing it underwater, gonna get some sick underwater shots and just see how this thing rides. We have a one ounce tungsten punching weight on the front and along the sides, we actually ended up gluing two nails to balance out the weight. We're gonna see how it works. We'll catch you underwater. Let's get it. Now that you guys saw this swim bait in action underwater, now we're gonna compare it with the Huddleston. It's about the same size. We're gonna see both of these underwater at the same time. And just to give you guys a little realistic feel compared to a normal swim bait. Guys, I, man, I really hate to do it to you, but we just got done with the underwater footage. I got both the baits right here. We got the shark swim bait, we got the crank bait. The Lego crank bait is just too good. So amazed with Fletcher's ability to put the bill on the front of this. And it looks so good that we're going to have to break this into two parts. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned on Thursday to see the crank bait in action. I will play a little short clip right here, but I'll catch you guys Thursday with the crank bait. Two days of hard work and we're finally out on the water. I am so excited to throw this Lego shark swim bait that Fletcher and I made. I just don't even know what to say, guys. We're gonna try to catch a massive bass on it. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna go at it, hopefully catch a giant. Let's hop right into it. Uh, it went well. Uh, 
uh, Noah's with me right now. We're filming. Yeah, it'll, it'll be on his channel, but I could definitely. I'm telling you, the moment that this fish hits it, we're going to be freaking out. Just the action, man. You know, just no movement, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the action is just so good on this thing, you know, bro? <laughs> There's no way, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. Oh, Let's go! There's no way! <laughs> They're so stupid, dude. Look at him. Oh! Look at that, dude. <laughs> oh my god, give me some. That is so stupid. Guys, I want you to understand that we've, how long, is it almost six hours probably? It's either almost five Dude, it's or been almost, all day. I'll have to check my phone. I don't even know where it's at. It's somewhere. Where is my phone? Did I drop it? No, I we're no good. Idea. It's right there. I'll have to check the time. We've almost been out here for it's either almost six or almost five hours. This has literally been the most painful thing ever, but we got the fish on the Lego swim bait right there, guys. Not a giant. I'm honestly surprised. I think he... So what I was doing is I was flipping. See these little dock slips? And I was flipping in the back, but I was letting it sink all the way down because there's no, like, pilings. And I was kind of, like, reeling it off the bottom, and he had it literally, like... I don't even understand. He got it good though. All right, guys. There's our first fish on the Lego swim bait. I honestly cannot believe that. It took us like I'm being dead serious. Probably like five hours. This whole project has come to be like almost three days now, and uh, I'm just so freaking excited to get out here and get one. The fishing was a lot tougher than we expected, um, but we finally got the job done with one. We're gonna keep throwing it. We only got a little bit more time. Hopefully, maybe we can get on another one. Um, but he was right under that dock, right where he should be. Ended up bending the hook. He was hooked so good, and. Uh, we're gonna get this beauty back in the water. I was expecting if one was to eat it, it would be a lot bigger, but still a beautiful one. I'm gonna get her back in the water. Thank you for biting, girl. Oh, there she goes. Oh my gosh, Fletcher. Literally like five hours, bro. <laughs> Let's get it. I, I can't believe that, man. I cannot believe that, but guess what? I don't really wanna end it now. I wanna add some more fish into this video. So we're, what do you think, Fletcher? Just. At least another hour and a half, bro, because at easy. least another hour and a Wait, half. I think we got Probably that got daylight a, left. About an hour and a half of daylight. Did it just snap? Oh my god. Dang. Well, boys, um, well, boy. I don't even know what to say. Bro, that's a tough one to swallow, bro. That, that is like, I, I need a moment. I like want to laugh, but at the same time, I'm like, dude, this is just so dumb. I don't know what to say. I'm actually very hurt from that right there. When it broke off, I almost could not believe it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Stay tuned for part two. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.